Hi, I'm Danielle Moore with Teaching One More, and today I want to talk to you about a strategy you can use when helping students learn how to subtract. The strategy is called Counting Up. So Counting Up is something that students can do if they've had an opportunity or multiple opportunities to count objects and learn their facts to 5 and 10. If they've had multiple opportunities to use objects and count and practice their subtraction facts to 5 and their subtraction facts to 10, it makes it much easier for students to count up and learn their facts to 20. So I want to show you how counting up can work. So for example, if I'm doing 5 minus 3, I can begin with the number 3 and then count up to 5. So it would sound like 3, 4, 5. And the answer lies on the fingers. So the answer would be 2. If I have 10 and I want to subtract 6, I can start with the number 6 and count up to find the difference between those two numbers. So 6, after 6 comes 7, 8, 9, and 10. There I have four fingers and the answer is four. So since we have 10 fingers, most of us anyways, it makes those facts to five and 10 much easier. But what about when it comes to facts to 20? How do we do that? That's where those facts to five and 10 come together to help them solve more sophisticated numbers. So what that might look like is this. So I don't know quite exactly what 20 minus 8 is, but I can think about if I have 8, let me write this down, 20 minus 8. If I have 8, I can count up 2 more to get to 10. And if I have 10, I can count up. 10 more to get to 20. And so first I counted up 2, then I counted up 10, and when I put those two digits together, or those two numbers together, that tells me the difference is 12. Now some students might do this on their fingers, some students might do this in their head, but in order to do this, we're going to need a strong sense of number. And that comes from having exposure and multiple opportunities with tools, building automaticity and muscle memory to 5, muscle memory to 10, and then that makes it so much more efficient and easier to work with facts to 20. This is Danielle Moore with Teaching One More, and I'm so glad that you tuned in today.